Right, I'm just measuring up for these doors that are going to go in here. And I put a level on, and from there to that packer, that's level. I knew my brickwork wasn't level because I was going to the the seam of the brick. But his lintel goes the other way, goes up at that end by a good half inch. I'm going to give him the benefit of the down and say that he was doing the same thing. So I've measured between there and there. I'll get my big level on it, but... That's not bad, I'll get my big level on that. But that's the side I can work to. But I've already measured across. And there's at least 10 mil, if not more, out. That's my narrowest point there to that brick that sticks out. There. So I've ripped my board down to that width. I'll cut it to height, stand it in, and we'll see what this edge looks like. All right, so that height is 2465, which is bigger than my board. So I just have to stand it in and measure, measure, see how it goes. So I've just screwed a couple of buttons on just to give me board some. I need to put these on anyway to secure it for tonight. So this is the brickwork that's going to be showing on the outside with all these half moon cuts in it. Right, that's the uncut edge, but I cut that edge with the track saw so it should be pretty straight. This edge isn't too bad. There's a, a 5mm bow in the middle of it. Big wedge at the bottom. I knew about that and by the time I get a sill on that's nearly as big as that pointed up you won't really see that but his gap it's a bit wayward up there look get my fingers in there fairly even to about there then comes in. So that's pretty much the size that I'm going to make the door frame. The door frame's changed. You see the drawings I've got on here. We were going to have a glass panel at the top. This board's upside down. We we're going to have a glass panel at the top. But then that that rail would sort of you know it run halfway through the window like that so we decided to go with the top of the window the top of the glass here from inside it'll look it'll look sort of even uh, i'm just measuring for these doors see the gap at the top gets slightly bigger there to there so what i've done is transferred what we want is the glass to be at similar height to this glass here, or the same height, should I say. So that is the glass. That's to the top of the bead, to the top inside of the frame. So that's the bead, and then the glass. So from there, I can take a measurement across here, a width measurement, and then I'll draw it on the computer. And I'm gonna make the frame to the size of this board maybe a fraction smaller because it's touching at the bottom there outside but that's the size I'll be working to and then the bottom rail there'll be a little wooden panel at the bottom with glass all the way up so that rail I'll level around from there and that's the height and the depth I can draw it all on the computer then. Right, making doors time. 
these frame timbers, 2385, that's nearly 8 foot. Don't know how well I can do that over the jointer, how well I can get that straight. So I've got my timbers here, cut them up just to get them out of the way. But these are 8 foot lengths, I left that long one there, that's for the frame, for the outside frame. And there used to be a glass panel at the top here, but that's gone now. So I've got one big piece of glass, and that runs in with the window. It's the height of the window. I've got a double top. I'll explain that when I'm building it. But basically I want to build a framework inside his lintel. Avoid touching it. Avoid getting in to avoid getting involved with his lintel. Oh so I've got to cut these side pieces. Might rip them down with tracks or they're nearly there, then rip them a bit more and just put them through the thicknesser. Might be able to get them straighter then. Not too bad. Forgot my track so left it up at the job.
Right, it's not too bad. Touch in there, look. Touch in there. I've got a couple of mil out there, so a millimetre either side. That's acceptable for me, for a little machine. This is this is the plain edge, plain square edge. There's a bit of there's a few planing marks. You see the lines. What I'll do is when I when I put these through the thickness, I reduce them to size. The last pass I put through, I'll flip them over and take this edge off. Just take half a millimetre off here. Let's get rid that gets rid of them. There's probably some in here as well. Alright, just thickness them now. I'll rip them down to the same width first because this one's a little bit wider. I need to cut the head as well, so that's going to be going through the plane at the same time. And this stuff's sidewalk chalk. It's path chalk. Thank you. 